we're in the semifinals. Winner bracket semifinals. We have Gaming Gladiators, a fan favorite against Black Hands, also one of the best North teams currently in North America. Interesting team comes. We have Lutano on the Trevenant top lane, Overlord sticking to his Lucario that he is so known for. Besides that, interesting team comes. We have two Blissies, two Hoopers as well. The rest are all different. We have an Aegis Slash jungle again. Toon bring out the Aegis Slash after the recent buffs as well. Already played it before the buffs. And Goof on his Pikachu that he plays also very often. While Curious goes for the Nine Tits instead. Which honestly, I don't think I would also say prefer Nine Tits, but Nine Tits did receive some nerfs in the last patch and has gotten quite, quite weaker after being very, very strong for a short amount of time. But still, the way build still very good. Getting that small jump in is still a very, very strong buff that Nighthead's got anyways. This A-Pom is gonna go down and Zakrat's gonna catch this. It's so weird to see Zakrat playing Blissey, but in the end, it's another just frontline character as well. He's gonna able to secure this threat, uh, this Audino. He's gonna go for this one as well. He's gonna try to get a level 4 Blissey as fast as possible for the safeguard. Looking at top side, we have Toon ganking very, very early. But Dutano losing the early game very, very hard against Overlord so far. Already down one entire level as the small level 3. Yes, it's gonna go strong over the game, but yeah. Honestly, Trevenant's early game is not too bad. Little Wisp does actually a lot of damage. Um, has some life lifesteal as well. The passive, if the passive procs, you can do a lot of damage with this Pokemon as well. And since they buff branch poke a bit, you even have some more sustain. But Overlord already level 5. He's gonna e-speed all over these bees and all over GGG as well. And Utano is probably gonna die. Yeah, he's just trying to get some bees. He accepts that he's going to die for it. Just was hoping to get some experience. And he is going down. Looking at bot side, it's looking quite even, but Zogdrug, level 5 already. So, bot lane of Gaming Gladiators being decently ahead already this early into the game. We see a Hyperspace. What is Indy playing? Indy is also playing Hyperspace. So we do two Hyperspace holds again for Indy and for Mopwop. Interesting name, Mopwop. Oof, trying to get this Audino. Curse is trying to steal it away. Can Zogdrug get it? Yes, Zogdrug the Pound. Does get it. Lutano unlocking his Curse now. He's probably gonna play Curse Horn Leech. That's the normal combo. Curse pretty good at last hitting as well. It actually is quite a good amount of damage after he let it explode. He's gonna start finding Overlord now. There's the Curse. Curse also slows a bit. Not by too much, but the lower Trevenant's on HP, the more it will actually slow as well. But he's currently at full HP, so the slow will be quite weak. Next beast are spawning in 25 seconds. And... We already see Chaotic rotating towards top side on the Greninja. Already level 7. Aegis Slash, not level 7 yet, 2 and a bit of behind experience here. Out of those toppies, not being able to get much out of it. So look for the Sordino. It's gonna Sacred Sword in and he gets it. Gets the last hit, gets to level 7, evolves to Aegis Slash. And now he's gonna knock White Guard. He's gonna get into his shield form, so makes him much tankier. And there we go, he jumps in and wow, the two booster rotations take down 9 hits instantly. Fights a nice White Guard as well. Goes to Mob Warp now. Can he find the kill? No. Runs out of boosted auto attacks. But good care, 9 tails. He's gonna try and score. Can't quite get it off. They're gonna pick up those big bees now. Greninja already 8. Almost level 9. Just needs a quarter more of experience. So one Audino right here. Can he get it? No, he can't get it. Now he's in a lot of problems. Okay, has to surf in. Had to use his fully already. He's gonna try to go for this Audino. But Blissey, Slash can. Might be going down here. Another boosted auto attack for Aegis Slash. And Chaotic hits level 9. But he's so low already. There's no bees up. He's gonna maybe wait for a hyperspace. Of Hooper to send them back to base very fast. Yeah, hyper they're gonna get hyperspace. They go back, back to base very, very fast. This one hyperspace is so broken. But Toon is able to find Nine Tails yet again. Nine Tails being out way too deep, just turned by time for his team. Bliss Unite. Zakrak actually hitting level 9, uh, level 8 there. Goes on to Toon, but the Winch Unite is a bit too much. Pikachu Goof already dead. It's currently 4v5. Who can get this? And the Surf secures it. Kaute getting a reset as well. Finishing off Blissey. And. Looking good for Blackhead in this early game. Indy might die as well. No, Indy's gonna live. Overlord still looking. Can he find another extreme speed reset? When is it up? There we go. Looks for Indy. Gonna find the extreme speed. Yes. Takes on Indy. I think Toon might also die at the shield. He's gonna try the safe card at the end time. And egg bombs are flying out. And actually, Lutano's here now. Lutano getting one kill. The egg bomb with the veil actually catapulting Chris quite far away. And Lutano just looking for it. Finds the horn leech on Lucario. Can he find more? Is he gonna explode it? But Lucario just denied moving just to live. Doesn't want to die right here. It's a fine time to unite right now, just to live. I think that's totally fine to use. It will be up for the next Dreadnought fight. And make sure that they don't lose bot any more experience on bot side. I'll take another full hyperspace back to base. I'm gonna reset that to full HP and Chaotic. Only level 11 now. One entire level lead over Toon on the Egg Slash. 
looking great for him. Secure that big B as well with the self reset. And yeah, I think he didn't get that. I'm not sure if Goof got it or he. Looking for some mid fights now. Overlord against Eggerslash. He's gonna get two boosted auto attacks. Gonna sacred sort him. Actually, he's doing so much damage to him. Has to be careful though. It doesn't really have cooldowns now. The egg bomb. Chucking him to under half HP almost. Looking for a Sacred Sword, nice dodge on the smoke screen and sidestep as well. But bot lane, Trevin and Lutano is getting a kill. It's getting a kill, it's gonna kill this goal um, just for the next threat. Of course, a small overkill. But those scenarios are totally fine just to make room that the next threat is spawning in 30 seconds. So the goal is perfectly done for it. Of course, it sucks to have a small overkill. But in those scenarios, it's totally fine and totally the right play to do. No Tom is still being attacked or looked at, but both teams can port towards bot lane with Hooper still. This Hooper mob from his awesome position to just unite move with Hooper unbound and port this team in. Rotom is being attacked. Goof doing a lot of damage to Nine here. Being able to outrange Nine Tails with Pikachu quite easily. Slash can just maybe look for something. No, but it goes over to the side of gaming gladiators. Indy also in position on bot side to port his team in. And Mopo which is under attack of Lutano. Lutano forcing the port at the Hooper unbound super super early. And now Indy is countering unite moving. Gaming Gladius is porting towards bot side and they're gonna start on working on the strat. But so is Black Hand. Black Hand is actually all here. All of them have ported in. Nine Tails won't make it on time. Nine Tails has to walk down here. Winjo, Unite moving on to Toon. Can he find the last hit though? Toon is going in, but he's out of his out of his thing for but he gets it! The Unite move of Aegis Slash being able to execute Red now. And they get two kills as well. Blissey goes down, Hooper goes down. Can they find any more kills? Harris jumping back in his way. Nice done by Goof. Finding the Grinja almost killing him. Nine Tails has to unite move here. And actually, Blissey dies. Lutano is also very, very deep now. Overlord is here. Nice horn leech. Knocks him back. But I think Lutano is probably going to die here. Any moment now. Yes. Gets stocked up by nine tails. But what a huge unite by Toon. Being able to secure the dread there with this unite move. Again, it has execute damage. The lower someone is, the more damage it will do. And does it perfectly there. Well done by him. Almost level 30 now. So... Both him and Greninja are pretty much the same amount of experience right now. He's gonna pick up a big B as well. <laughs> Eggbomb was like flying out. And he's the first level 13 character. First level 13. Toon on his way to level 12. And Black Hand looking for push on bot side, but Slash Can is very, very deep. But has a hyperspace. Can he get it in that time? But no, the Horn Leech. The Horn Leech actually been an insane counter towards the hyperspace. Pushes him out of it. And Lutano is able to secure kill with that. It's actually popping the X speed now and he's looking for this kill. No, he actually goes for the B. I really thought he was going for the enemy Pokemon. Just goes for the big B. <laughs> and takes them down. Popped his X speed. I really thought he was ready to fight them. Meanwhile, Toon on the other side. Dice on top side. Almost killing Kautic. He barely lives. But Toon is able to not get quite get the kill. And does get taken down. We have 30 seconds left until Zepto spawns. And Rotom is up. This Rotom one thing is going to do much. Of course, it can give Black Hand some nice points. Who are very, very far behind right now. 180 points behind, so they do need some points. Just to make sure they're not reliant on Zapdos. They secure this Rotom. Let's see if GG even defends this. They might just let it go in now. Okay, they're killing it very, very fast. There we go. Rotom is gonna die super, super fast. And Black Hand's gonna get positioned over Zapdos, most likely. But we already have Indy here. Indy's already ready. Scouting, trying to scout his opponents out. Same for Zakrak. And again, can always spot his teammates instantly into the fight. Black Hand looking from bot side, jumping over, staying in the airbrush on bottom right. Lutan just trying to scout. They save their T1 goods up, which gives them great positioning for this last fight. And Toon just going very aggressive here. Gets hyperspace back to base, gonna get full HP again. And Lutano doing so much damage in the back there. But his passive gets blocked. He does lose his passive, which is huge. That means he would have much less horn leeches than he would normally have. Goof blinking forward to stop Lutan uh, Overlord here from capping. It's gonna chase him down as well. Actually, a lot of damage here. Toon is on the chase as well. But no, there's a Hooper Unite coming in. And they're gonna start team fighting. Lutanos and everything. Zakrak as well. Can Zakrak unite someone? Where is he walking? Zakrak actually is walking to the right side. And he actually just dies completely. But we have two kills so far for the side of GG as well. They find Nine Tails and Hooper. Chaotic living on 1 HP. Lutano chasing with a focus band. The Horn Leech message just trying to buy time. Chaotic literally on 1 HP. Can go find the kill? He actually goes back. He tries to surf it. Can they accept us? No! It goes over to Gaming Gladiators. But nice try by the Greninja going back, knowing that if he recalls that the game is over anyways. Tries to finish off Zapdos. And GG gets it. Gaming later securing the Zapdos. Can they score though? They save to score on me, but they have a huge point lead right now. Tunis is gonna go top side. Zakbrak is gonna score bot side. And GG with a very good game. The first dread looked a bit questionable, but afterwards, not making any mistakes.
And move going away from the Pikachu, which looked quite good last game. Quite surprised that they switched away from it. And actually, it's Kuras going into the jungle, and Chaotic is playing. Wait, Chaotic's on Nine Tails. So they also switched that they're jungle, they're bot lane player. Interesting. Maybe Kuras is known more for his Sinais. Chaotic now on the Nine Tails. So not just switching on a Pokemon, also switching their role in the game. Let's see how that pays off. And we actually have Goof jungling in the early game. And we have Toon going for these A-Poms in here. Interesting, GG completely changing up their strat. Going to topside here. We have Goof taking the jungle for level 5. And Toon is just fighting Lucario on topside. To make sure he doesn't get attack rate stacks, but he gets punished for it. He's gonna die. Can Toon get this last? Toon at least gets the last there. He's gonna try another attack rate stack. He told me earlier he's running a attack rate weakness policy. And also focus band. On the Trevenant. Overlord still getting level 5 anyways, doesn't matter what, gets 20 points in. And now Goof is going towards bot side. So. Oh. GG, practicing some other strats over here. I like when teams try something new. Two now top side though, they're gonna lose this very, very hard. They probably have to be very careful not walking up. Overlord again, level 5. But actually, Tano getting the big B there, hitting level 5. But he's gonna end up dying. Actually, can he get a kill? Oh my god, Overlord is so low. Can't quite do it. Can Toon find a kill? No. The whatever. I forgot what the ability is called. <laughs> Get sidestepped. And he can't quite find it. Let's see if Toon goes back to the jungle now, actually. I assume he's gonna start taking his buffs now. Yeah, he's gonna move probably towards it. Or not. Yeah, there we go. Toon is gonna start jungling now. Overlord against Tutanu. Overlord saving half a level lead now. And yeah, so GG, after Indy's tweets about who says it's your jungle, they start sharing the jungle a bit more. We see it happening. And Kira is looking for another gank on Lutano. Just X speeds away from this Lucario. Two looking for level 7 now. But it's gonna put them pretty far behind in the jungle, but it allows, it allows Goof to probably hit level 7. Yeah, Goof already hitting level 7 now. Unlocking his water spout, rapid spin, any moment. He's gonna be very, very strong for this first dread fight and for, for these bees. Gonna be ready for both of those. So I like that a lot. They just don't want they just don't care about level 9, so they just want to make sure that their Pokemon hit all the powder spikes as fast as they can. Not gonna have a level 9 Pokemon, but that's totally fine. As long as they can summon, just get kids with their overleveled or their better moves. Alright, bees are spawning on bot side. Same for top, let's gonna look at Goof. If he's gonna secure most of these, he just spins in. And they get all of those bees. Looking at top side, we have the white guard being unlocked now. And they actually go on Kiaros. Is he gonna die next Equid Sword? And yes, he does! Toon picking off a nice kill on Kiaros. Is able to finish off the Cinderace. Overlord not trying his best to maybe get some experience, but Toon also being able to pick up the big B. And now his experience is looking great. He's on his way to level 8. He's actually higher level than the Cinderace currently. He's gonna pick up another APOM. He's gonna take the hyper space towards bot lane. Overlord does the same. He's also gonna port towards bot lane. Everyone's gonna try and collapse here. Chris is not going to be level 9 either, it's going to hit 8 and a half. And now, GG's going to go very aggressive here. He's going to start White Guard, he's going to build up Boosted Auto Attack, already has 3, he's going for the Sacred Sword. And Nine Tails is already dead! Nine Tails is already dead! There's the Sacred Sword, it's going to kill Hooper. But who's going to get this Dread now? So far, two kills for them, but it goes over to, to the Cinderace. Cinderace being able with the blue buff Auto Attack, is able to secure it, gets the kill as well on Busy. Can GG just try not to die as too many? Okay, two notes is going to die. Two kills and Dread now. Go over to the side of Black Hand. Here's going very aggressive on the Indies survey here, who's just gonna pick up a berry and live for now. But 30 and 40 coins go in for the side of Black Hand. Also using a Bliss Unite just to make sure that nothing bad happens here now. And they're just gonna kill the goal. 20 overkill, putting them 120 points, already 100 more than last game. And looking great in this early game now for Black Hand. Looking for e speed reset. Can he find Zakrak? Yes, he can. Another e speed takes him down. No, he doesn't have any more though. Lutano only him back into his team. But Overlord is just gonna get out. But Toon! On the back side, finishing off Blissey. Being by Sinai is on top lane, killing Blastoise. And Toon's gonna try to kill Overlord, but he misses the Sacred Sword. Just Unite moves him, but wait, what happened? I didn't quite see it. Did he miss it? It looked like it bugged out for a second there. But misses his Unite move there. He's gonna find another Sacred Sword, and actually, wow. The boosted auto takes just completely demolish the Lucario. He's gonna fight Core Take as well now. White guards him back into his super. Can any kid pick up the kill? Yes, they can. Double, K double KO for Aegis Slash. But they're both going to die. Sinais is going to get a double kill here. Actually, Blissey taking the kill away, which I really don't like. Guys, give the kills to your carries. The KO gives more experience than assists, so it's very, very important. 
to give your KOs to your most important people, which is Sinais. And the Tupa was pretty dead. I think that Tupa was very dead in my screen. He could have just let Sinais have the kill instead of using the boosted auto attack to get the kill himself. But Blissey is bloodlust and wants some XP as well. It's gonna hit level 10 here. Look at the top side now. Rotom is gonna get cleared. Go bend over to gaming gladiators. But it's just gonna get cleared so fast. Yeah, Rotom does not having any. I feel like Rotom never has any impact. From all the games I've watched today, Rotom never does anything. And it's one of the most overrated things this game has to offer. Right, next Rotom fight. A uh, Dreadnought fight now. Indeed, already using his new about to move up the same. Everyone's gonna pot in. Lutanus, can he find the big unite? He does find two characters. And uh, Knight is already down again. Knight is dying first again, but this time, no. Toon can't quite get the last hit. Does it a bit too early. Toon is already dead. Lutanus down. Two kills was now black hand. Hoof is trying his best to maybe get a counter kill. But he finds him actually. He hits with the Cinder Ace. Does die. But it's very nice for, for Goof. He's gonna get a lot of experience from killing a overleveled Cinder Ace. Overlord also finding one more kill. In the end, five kills for the set of black hand though. They kill every single GG member on this bottom fight. And they also lose the Dreadnought fight at the same time. Dreadnought plus five kills for black hand. Looking quite good now. Cinder Ace on level 13. Looking on switch to level 14, 13 and a half actually. We have also Overlord on level 12 and a half. And Goof desperately looking for some experience now on level 12. Looking for level 13 for the rapid spin plus, which makes him tankier. Overlord getting very aggressive on Zakrak, but there's just some egg bombs there. He's just e-speeding around, being a Lucario that he is. And now actually Goof is getting attacked by Sinais. It's is gonna die so fast, take like so much damage. But the Blissey safeguard is enough to keep him alive. Looking back at bot lane, Trevor and Lutano actually died. Lutano went down looking for a play, gets taken down. Alright, one minute Interceptors. We have a small point lead for Blackhand still. Another Rotom is gonna spawn. This could actually be a nice Rotom that's gonna set the goal to 10 HP if they get it in, which means a Cinder Ace or like someone with a lot of coins like Overlord can get a huge cap in. But there's a very, very late Blaze Lasters Unite by Goof. Maybe for Zapdos, he just wants experience and actually killed Cinder Ace. Just wants some experience for himself, wants the Rotom. And he will just have to farm no experience back up, which he might be able to do. Blastoise Unite move doesn't have the highest cooldown. If he runs Energy Amp as well, there's a chance he can get it back in time. But he will have to farm a lot of experience. GG just looking for some points right here. Blissey is also going to die. And that's it, Rotom goes in. 50 and another 50 go in. And that puts 64 points in the lead for GG. 64 points in the lead, and Lutanus also is gonna score another 50 on bot side. I have to be careful though not to die here, it's right before Zapdos. Run Lutano, he's out, Horn Leech is away. Kao takes down the chase, it's gonna boost out and take him a few times. He's just trying to proc his passive right now. If this passive goes proc, but it doesn't. He saves his passive for the last team fight. Very, very important. There was just Cortex going there for 9 hits to just make sure that Lutano loses his passive. He's looking for level 13 now, he's gonna kill one more Corpfish. And he's level 13. Goof actually level 14 right now. I'm not sure if his Unite is back up, but it's gonna be close. Just looking for some damage here. What a spot again. He's level 14. It's so hard to deal with this uh, blast face right now. He is so, so strong. But what can deal with it? A level 14 Sinais has probably the highest chance of dealing with a Water Spin Blast Toys. Just dealing absolutely insane damage. But Trevin and Dutal hitting a huge Unite. And Knight is just destroys. Knight is gets stopped and knocked out by the Trevin Unite by the Blasters Unite. Gets completely obliterated. They're chasing Sinais now. Can Sinais Blaze keep back into his team? Blaze actually brought back to Bliss Unite. But no, he gets knocked off. He also gets Bliss United by, by Zakrat. Gets knocked off. Mopov is gonna die. Two kills for the side of GG. And they completely run them over in this team fight so far. Two kills for them. It's a 3 5 right now. Toon, I think, still probably has to unite move up. Night hits is back, which also has unite move. Can they try and go night hits? This night hits is so weak, only level 11. It's gonna look for unite move now, and Luta Lucario, Lucario gets it! Overlord gets the Zepdos. Now GG just have to try and get some kills to make sure they can't score. Oh, what a nicely timed Lucario unite there, being able to get Zepdos. But they still have to score a lot of points, which I don't think they can. Overlord is gonna score 100, but no one else can, right? Curious is gonna look for it, but it's still not enough. They need more than 100. Points still. He's gonna pick up some scraps. He's gonna be able to score. Oh my god, it's gonna be so close. You have 30 seconds left. There we go. But GG is still in the lead with 50 points. Still in the lead with 50 points. Toon is trying his best to make sure they can't get any points now. And they probably should just defend top lane. I don't know why no one's on the sweep though. Sinead is getting another 14 in. He's closing the gap even more. 
But still 40 points. They only have 10 seconds left. There's no way 20 to go in. But GG just left them to score for some reason. I know they're still winning. But that's quite questionable that they let them score. But I guess they're very confident they're winning anyways. And GG takes the game. Does do lose that does, but their team fighting was well enough in the last two minutes to be able to still get it to zero. And they move to top three. Gaming Gladius, Gaming Gladius will be our top three team in North America already moving into the winner bracket final.